hello guys welcome back to coding cafe my name is Mohamed Ali and now in this video lecture we are going to design the user interface the UI for the camera preview for our live camera here on our home page so first of all we have to uh, design the home page also I mean as well as alongside with uh, that okay hopefully we have to design the home page and that so for the home page uh, First of all, we can say material return material app, then home safe area, child scaffold widget. So first of all, we have to add uh, an image to the background of our home page. So we can say decoration. First of all, in the body of the scaffold widget, we can add a container widget. And then let's add decoration to it box decoration and here basically we will add image and nothing else so we can say decoration image Im asset image and the image is inside the assets folder which is by the name jarvis.jp G. If I show you this one, okay, Jarvis dot JPG. So after the box decoration, you can add child column widget, children widget, and in the center widget, you will add a container. So child container, and we will add a mobile frame which is Tony Stark mobile phone and we have that image by the name camera.jpg so we can say this image okay so anyways now we can say here that is I mean the height and width for it so the height for this will be 320 and the width for this image will be 330 and we can add this here now so we can say child image dot asset and the image is inside the assets folder which is by the name camera dot jpg so this height and width is basically for this container okay so since you know that this image is inside this container so we set the height and width for this container or you can say for this image which is 320 is the height and width is 330 because this image will take the size of this container so hopefully you understand and then after this center widget we can add another center widget we are going to basically add here uh, icon button on which the user will click so the live camera will start so you can say child flat button Merge child container and let's add some margin as in sets dot only and from the top it will be 35 and the height will be 270 and the width will be 360 and here we have to basically add a condition which is simply uh, that is if the live camera is if the live camera is on already then we will display the camera preview the live camera preview otherwise we will display this icon okay so we can say child we can check that is if the image camera becomes equals to, if this is null if this is equals to null then we are going to display the icon in this container we will implement it now otherwise else we will display the live camera preview in this aspect ratio okay so this is the ternary operator so this represent if and this represent else so anyways now let's just give it a proper shape so if the image camera is null which means we have to display the icon button so in here we can simply say 
first of all the height for this will be 270 and the width will be 340 360 and then child let's add icon here so we can say child icon icons dot we have an icon by the name camera front okay or you can also add this one photo camera front and the color for this will be colors dot blue blue accent and the size for this icon will be 40 so when the user click on this icon what we want to do well we want to simply open up the camera the camera preview so we can simply call our function which is init camera so this is all about I mean if the image camera is null okay what if the camera preview is already started after clicking on this photo camera front icon button so in that case we have to display the camera preview so for that you can set the aspect ratio camera controller dot value dot aspect ratio and then we can say child camera preview and pass the camera controller to it so this is all about i mean our home page and implementing the live camera feature now before testing the app you have to simply go to the android app build.gradle and here we have to change the minimum sdk version to 21 because the live camera feature works only if the minimum sdk version is 21 okay so make sure to change this to 21 and then now let's just come back and let's test the app to see if the live camera feature is working or not as well as we will see how it looks so the app is running now this is our splash screen and now it come here to the home page now here you will see this uh, white screen okay now the reason for this is come here to the code and here when we say child column children widget what we need to do is first of all let's just minimize this code which is inside this child column children widget okay just cut this code control x or command x if you are using mac cut this code first and we are going to add a widget which is by the name stack widget then we can say children widget and then you can simply pass the two center widget and then in the first one where we are displaying this camera.jpg let's add a color here and the color for this will be colors dot black and after this make sure to change the width of this also to 360 just like we did here so we can simply change this to 360 for the camera dot jpg and then for the hot restart you can simply save all and now if you come back to the app you will see this okay so now let's just click on this image icon button and it asks for the permission so you have to allow allow so you have to press the camera icon and here you can see the live camera has been started hopefully you can see my hand and everything so yeah, it is working fine so yeah that's it for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now